Hello guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to install Ubuntu Touch and OnePlus One. Because it has been a lot of confusion around the root installer and it didn't work. Because it's, um, I didn't say to you guys that it was a config that was needed to be set. But I didn't know it that was required for the boot. I, it, I didn't know that actually. I, sorry for that. But let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to download these five files. The first one is a is a is the system. It's the system uh, Android system of uh, Ubuntu Touch. It's the Android container is called. The next one is the boot image of Ubuntu Touch. The third one is the recovery. We are not going to use the recovery, but it's still here. We are not going to use it. You don't need download it the only thing you need to download is the team win recovery project I will you can use other recoveries that it should be fine but I am using team win recovery project so if this is not working for your first time try with team win recovery project the next thing is Ubuntu touch installer uh, that's what I made it has some config that's why it is the file and the last but not least is the root of the Ubuntu system it itself. So the first thing we are going to need to do is wipe the system. Then you go to your phone, go to advanced wipe, select everything. Remember, do a backup before this. Remember, do a backup. You don't need to wipe everything. You don't actually need it. You can do a dirty flash and you can play around with it and try with that. But if that doesn't work, do a uh, do a complete wipe. But I gonna wipe anyway. It has some errors, but it don't ignore it. It's just some USB errors. Then go back, and we're gonna unzip the installers. You need to unzip the config folder and the installer itself. So just unzip them into your current folder. Then you need a terminal. You need to open up the terminal and and do the first thing we're gonna do is actually reboot into uh, into um, the bootloader itself. So reboot back into the bootloader and bootloader of passboot mode, as it's called. And we're gonna flash the the, the Android um, no the boot image. <laughs> we're gonna flash the boot image. So. Don't mind me typing here around here. Boot and Ubuntu boot image. Fla flash that really quick. I did write sudo there. I didn't need to. Then that's done. Now we need to boot it back into recovery. So let's do it. We need to actually just do it manually. Because there is no command from to have from passport mode to recovery so we just let it boot back up to the recovery and we are gonna start the ins installation itself so what I discovered was it, it didn't have some permissions with the, the config so use the one plus one rootstock installer then space and type in the the root system of the of the Ubuntu itself, and then Ubuntu Touch, Bacon, Android system or the system file uh, system dot image that you downloaded. I recommend renaming it because the rootstock installer will actually create a system image in the same name. So I please please just make it a different name than system.in image if that's possible <laughs> sure it is possible uh, press enter and this will act install everything you need just let it run and I will pause the video while it's running because it will take a while then the installation is close to done oh wait it is done now the phone will reboot back up and we will see if if Ubuntu boots up again just check with wait for devices 
check if ADB is starting up. It takes a while the first time. Just give it a minute. Not a minute, but give it some time. can see there is can you see that still little Ubuntu logo there we go Ubuntu is installed on the phone ADB didn't start but I guess you have to enable developer mode on the phone so here's just continue Continue, task port, I don't care about the task port. Connect to the Wi-Fi, not working at the moment. Uh, 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 all done, nice work, skip the intro. And you successfully have Ubuntu phone on your OnePlus One. Thanks for all the support and uh, please, if you run into more issue with this, I appreciate if you just Send send me a post on on um, on the forum or just file a, a bug on the, on the GitHub page or a file an issue on the GitHub page and I will try to help you as fast as I can. But um, yeah, this is how you install it and uh, good luck.